Trial attorney Matt Belcher has been following the Blagojevich case, and he's here now with a look at what happens from here. And Matt, the first thing that comes to my mind is time that the former governor get a legal team in place. I can't imagine that one person, Sheldon Swarovski, can handle this massive case. I, I agree with you 100%. Uh, Sheldon's a very good lawyer, but uh, this requires a team of attorneys to handle the case. The, the, the United States government, through the U.S. Attorney's Office, they have probably at least a dozen lawyers working on this case. Mm -hmm. Sheldon's a fine lawyer, but I don't think that he has the, the, you know, the necessary uh, 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 resources to fully defend Governor Blagojevich in this matter. And you mentioned they have 12 attorneys working on this from the U.S. Attorney's side, not to mention they have mountains of evidence in this case, understand thousands of hours of wiretaps. And this investigation dates back to 2002. So given all of that, how soon can we see this trial get underway? It, 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 in my opinion, that the trial won't be able to start for at least six months to a year and a half from now because, mm -hmm. because of all the information that needs to be turned over to the, to the defense. Now, someone's going to need to sort through all this evidence and determine what is important and what isn't important. That, that's going to require several lawyers, and it's going to require months and months of time, and I, I would suspect that the total cost of the defense of the case would easily approach a million dollars. I mean, you being an attorney and being familiar with the players in the game, the legal field, is there really anybody out there who wants to take this case? Uh, not right now, because they're concerned about getting paid, number one. Mm -hmm. uh, and number two, nobody wants to lose a case. Mm -hmm. So if you have a client such as uh, uh, the governor, uh, Bogoyevich, running around, uh, going on media tours, etc., it would be very difficult for an attorney to be able to stay on the case, because it doesn't appear, at least in my opinion, that Rod Bogoyevich is following his attorney's instructions. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, now, let's also look at another angle of this. There are six defendants that have been indicted in this case, his brother, a couple of uh, former chiefs of staff and fundraisers and such. Are we looking at individual trials here or would all six be lumped together? Well, the individual defendants are going to go to the judge and ask for their, for their own separate trial. However, mm -hmm. the, the United States government is, is going to object to that and they're going to press the judge to have one large trial. And it, it, it's my sense that the judge would be more likely to have one large trial involving all of the defendants in the mm -hmm. case. Mm -hmm. That would put pressure on the individual defendants to, to plead out or uh, to uh, cooperate with the, with the U.S. Attorney's Office because you're, the, the individual defendants aren't going to be able to afford to have an attorney follow through with this trial as well. And you're going to sink or swim with Robert Blagojevich. And I don't think e any of the individual defendants want that to happen. Yeah, many of them are trying to distance themselves from him. And I understand that even a few of them are said to be cooperating with the government. Absolutely. And if they did cooperate, they would probably plead guilty at a later stage and they would participate in the actual, in the actual trial against the gov I guess uh, ex-Governor Blagojevich. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is a situation that definitely bears watching. I expect there will probably be a lot of motions over time and a lot of court filings that we'll have to keep our eye on. Matt Belcher, a trial attorney, thanks for joining us in analyzing uh, former Governor Rob Blagojevich's case. Anytime.